What's going on everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Uh, as you guys can see, we have a reservoir tank heading out of Holbrook, Arizona and we are heading up to Winnemucca, Nevada. Um, before I do anything, I want to take a look at the map here. Um, see if there's any roads that we can explore on the way that we can pick up. Uh, I think it's going to be up here in Nevada if we take this up out of Las Vegas. Um, we can either take this left and head on up 375 here and hit the 6 over to Tonopah. Or we can go a little bit further out. Actually, you know what we could do is we'll take this to there. And then there up to Eli. And then over. What's up, Drama City? How you doing today? Hope everybody had a good Monday. Um, okay. Why is that? There's one. Two. Okay, there we go. Three. There we go. That'll work. So that way we can explore this whole road. It's gonna be a little bit out of the way. A little extra time. But we can explore more roads this way. So, yeah. There we go. All right, so, as I was saying, we are heading out of Holbrook, Arizona to Winnemucca. Uh, we have 37 hours remaining of the trip, and it's paying us a total of $21,201. That's a lot of ones and twos. It's all right, Drama City. It's no problem. All right, so let's head on out of here. Clear that fence. There we go. So now we have a total of 952 miles to go. Um, I already did fill up with fuel, even though we didn't really need it. Uh, we just needed like a quarter tank of fuel or so. And I also stopped and uh, rested up already. We don't have to worry about that either. Get on out of here, turn our hazards off, jump on in the truck, and this guy off here, and let's get out of here. Now, if you guys noticed, um, I did turn the game volume down just ever so slightly. Uh, I've been noticing in the past streams, the game has been overpowering my, uh, my voice. So, hopefully you guys can still hear the game, but also hear me at the same time. Uh, what's up, idiotic gamer? Long time no see. Couple nice bikes there. Couple choppers. Come on, turn green. Turn green? Yay, turn green. Like I was saying, I hope everybody's Monday was a good one. Today was pretty busy, which means it went fast, which is good. And I'm glad to be home, relaxing, and being able to drive for you guys. I was actually kind of debating whether to play this or the forest. So the forest might be tomorrow. Just to be, you know, just throw it out there. Uh, tomorrow we might be starting a new map in the forest. It's been a while since I've done any of that for the channel, so I might be bringing that back. be a fairly quick trip even though we are uh, going out of our way just ever so slightly to pick up some extra roads uh, but it should be a fairly quick trip what did the moon look like two or three days ago I uh, couldn't tell you honestly I have no idea He 
besides it looked like a moon. Unless it was a new moon. I don't know. Some odd reason, I have a feeling this is some type of trick question. <laughs> There's a full moon, and I was mad. Oh. Yeah, it was... I don't know. Um, be honest with you, it might have been raining here, so I probably wasn't able to really notice it. What's up, Captain Petty? Hey, you finally made it at the beginning of the stream this time. <laughs> yeah, stay on the road. The big open desert here. Whoa! Sorry, dude. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I promise I have not been drinking. I just got off of work. The only thing I've had to drink since I've gotten off of work was a Mountain Dew and a little bit of coffee. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I got too much caffeine. Yeah, caffeine. And sugar. <laughs> I don't know. It's just been one of them days. It's been a good day. I don't know why. Just has. Which is very unusual for a Monday. What's up, Savage? How you doing today? <laughs> H. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> hi. Hi. Okay, hi. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm thinking about Mondays will be, uh, it's not set in stone, but I think Mondays are going to be American Truck Simulator, Tuesdays will be The Forest, Wednesdays will be one of two things, depending on how our full race Fridays go, because Wednesday, Wednesdays, Wednesdays um, could be either American Truck Simulator or like I said depending on how full race Fridays go and we get a hot seat available we might have a race on Wednesday for our hot seat race and then Thursday will be American Truck Simulator or no maybe I'll bring Transport Fever back as well I know people have been asking me about Transport Fever so I think Thursdays might be Transport Fever and then Fridays will be Full Race Fridays. And then Saturdays and Sundays, if I can get on, will just be whatever I decide. Or if people ask me on Friday to play something, you know, like the More of the Forest or Transport Fever or Farming Simulator. Um, something you guys have already seen on the channel and want to see more of. If I can, I'll get on during the weekend and play more of it. So I think that's how the new schedule will be looking like. Try to put a little bit more variety of stuff up on the channel for you guys. That way it's not the same thing repetitively, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so... No, you're not off work yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, even though, I mean, YouTube doesn't pay that much. It doesn't pay the greatest. Um, at least for me it doesn't. But, um, some say YouTube's like a second job, which it could be. Or it could be a full-time job if they have enough viewers. Um, but for me, it's just get home and just be able to just kick back, relax, play a little something while I can talk to everybody. So, 
it's just one of them things that just helps relax me and gets me to wind down for the evening. What's up, Yuri? How you doing today? I'm seeing the signs for Kingman. Getting to the edge of Arizona already. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this uh, get this trip or not. This uh, load here, the reservoir tank, because I had to. If you guys remember, our last delivery point was outside of Holbrook, and to pick this guy up, this uh, guy, this trailer up was in Holbrook, like actually in town. And on the way there, my uh, Qualcomm started chirping away at me, and I was like, the. There's no way I'm going to pick up a job and then get a couple hours into the job and have to rest up already. So what I did is I just was like, okay, well, if it's still there, it's there. If not, oh well, find something else. I just went and got some rest and stuff and uh, it was still there. So it's good. Uh, no, we are not in California. We will not be touching California today at all. We are going from Arizona up to Nevada. And I'm doing pretty good. Like I was saying a little bit ago, it was, it's just been one of them days. I mean, it was a good day. I mean, it's very unusual for a Monday, but it was a good day. It was fast, it was busy, and I have a lot of energy. Uh, there's trailers with the wind dynamics. Yeah, that's a mod. up JB uh, delish for what yeah that's the first time seeing a school bus in this game for a very very long time propane powered what in the world a, a propane powered bus uh, no I have not upgraded the truck and I'm going the speed limit. Oh, actually, no, I'm going slower than the speed limit. Let me speed up here. I'm only going not even 70, but the speed limit just changed to 75, so I'm going to go close to 80 now. So if it looks like I was going fast before, it's going to look like it's going really fast. There we go. Almost 80. I bet, uh, I bet my friend a buck you would say delish. Well, I just said it, so I guess he owes you two bucks. It's, uh, it's twice now that I said it. <laughs> Make the tree rock back and forth. If the trees are rocking, don't come a knocking. Hee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I need to lay off the caffeine for the rest of the night. It's been a while since caffeine actually got a hold of me like this. Holy crap. Yeah, I was actually tempted. There was actually a... Uh... It's in another city, though. It would have took a while to get to it. But there was an AutoZone trailer I was debating on trying to, trying to make it over to get. But we'll get it eventually. Nice little Tyson van there. Okay, here comes Kingman. And uh, the road sign also said Las Vegas. And that's where we're going to be making our turn up towards the north. So that way we can uh, go ahead and explore some different roads on our way up to Winnemucca. is thinking stuff. Thinking what? I'm not thinking anything. Oop, looks like we're going to be turning off right up here. Just on the outside of Las Vegas. Uh, 
Uh, it's actually in the title, JB. Uh, we are heading from Holbrook, Arizona up to Winnemucca, Nevada, and we're hauling a reservoir tank. Uh, stop! Okay, good. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, look at that trailer. That is awesome. I want one. That was pretty cool. Okay, 25 miles an hour is just a little bit too slow for this area. Just saying. It could be at least 35 or 40. Oh, look at that. 35. I'm just going to keep going. No cop. 85. 75. Did I read? Yep. It's in the title. I decided uh, from now on that uh, for since I'm only taking one trip during the actual weekdays, Monday through Friday, um, well, when I play American Truck Simulator during the week, it's only one trip. So I figured during the week for my American Truck Simulator live streams, we'll actually have the... Uh, what we're hauling and where we're going from and where we're heading to. Just so that way everybody already knows beforehand. And of course the thumbnail is usually right before we start the trip and uh, it shows what we're actually hauling as well. So. Yep, it's fastly approaching. I'm not sure when though, but I'm sure it'll be out hopefully here within the next month or two, even though I've been saying that for the last how many months. But the good thing is it is in closed beta, so that means they are doing their final testing on it, so. The she What's going on, man? What's up, MG? What's up? <laughs> I'm on that good caffeine tonight. You guys can't tell. <laughs> I got the energy. Uh, no, Rishi, like I was saying before, I know I've said it to you before, uh, I have a profile for multiplayer, but for my steering wheel and pedals, for some odd reason, my accelerator is always stuck wide open. I cannot get the truck to slow down, or I can get it to stop, but as soon as I let off the brake, it's just gone again without me even pushing down on the accelerator. So until I get the issue resolved in the settings somehow and figure out what's causing it to do that, I can't do multiplayer. Uh, no, I have not seen it yet. Um, I want to, though. I like horror movies and stuff like that. Actually, I just watched uh, the new Mummy movie with Tom Cruise. I know it's been out for a little while, but I just now bought it a few weeks ago. And I've watched that a couple times already. And also... Um, the movie Get Out that is a good movie as well it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be but it was actually really good, it had a good twist in it it was pretty neat Oop, let me slow down, it's feeling 70 
player together. So, yeah, I mean, if I can get it, if I can somehow get the the profile to work right with my steering wheel and pedals, then yeah, I'll I'll do multiplayer probably quite often. But until then, it's single player only. No, it's not the take home Starbucks coffee. I made my own coffee. Folgers. It's in my cup. What's up, Assassin? Uh, how do you get the blue carbon fiber? I couldn't get it. Uh, it's not blue carbon fiber. It's uh, just the carbon fiber dash and then a blue interior light. Chat. I'm watching the actual video on my PS4. Oh, that's cool. What's up, Cameron? How you doing today? My day is going pretty good, Rishi. Like I was saying earlier, it's, it's a fast, busy day, and Got a lot of energy. Very un unlike any other Mondays. <laughs> Doing pretty good, Cameron. Thank you for asking. And hello to everybody else who is not participating in the chat. Uh, welcome to the stream, and I hope you're enjoying it so far. Because we are not even probably halfway through the trip yet. We got just a little under 600 miles to go. Heading on up to Winnemucca. Um, we did alter the route. Instead of going straight up to Winnemucca, uh, we made a little change right here in Las Vegas. We're cutting up a little bit uh, through Nevada to get some more roads explored. So, what happens if we hit 500 subs? Well, then uh, the goal is going to change. <laughs> uh, I have to go and may catch you later. All right, Rishi. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you later. If not, uh, I'll see you in the next stream. What's up, Jason? Taxi! Oh, well, what am I calling for a taxi for? I'm in a truck. That van just spawned in. You guys see that van, that van spawn in back there right in the middle of the road? That was weird. Yep, losing our lane, man. Don't you dare hit your brakes. Don't do it. Uh, still going faster than him, though. How often do you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3? Uh, not very often. Uh, I just play the survival mode. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna... The, the goal's just gonna change, Drama City. We had a good month in uh, August, but it kind of slowed down from there. I still haven't uh, taken a look at that game yet. Um, I forget who was mentioning it yesterday's stream about uh, there's a new Transport Fever game, I guess. Uh, it's still a beta, but... Uh, there's a new Transport Fever game coming out, and the thing is with that one, it's nothing but trains, and it's, I mean, the graphics, if you zoom in, the graphics is really nice, but 
but when you go and create things and stuff like that, it just, I don't know, it just looks too Nintendo-ish for me. And, uh, you can't adjust the tracks to where it's a nice, like, smooth curves. It's just sort of yank, you know? So, I don't know. Um, unless they do a lot of changes to that game, I don't think I'm going to get it. Wow, that must be nice, Jason. I wish I had time to watch four streams today. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, it's just in the, the beta as of right now. I was watching some uh, videos on it, and I looked it up on Steam. It's like 30 bucks for the beta, and it's like, with how it looks right now and the options available in the game... Um, I just don't think it's worth that much, to be honest with you. And I do not play Nintendo games, not anymore, but I do remember when the Nintendo came out, and I do remember getting it within the first year or so it came out. Got it for a Christmas present from my parents. I always remember playing Dunk, Duck Hunt quite often. And I always tried to shoot the stupid dog that was laughing at me. <laughs> it laughed at me quite often. <laughs> but yeah, I think the roads that we've had explored is like 74 something, you know, 74 point something percent. So we'll have to see what it is after this trip is over with. If I get Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, will you... Uh, I won't do versus, but what you can do is play survival mode together and we can actually be on the same team. And we can help each other get through the rounds. Your birthday's next week. Well, happy early birthday if I forget. Or if uh, I somehow cannot manage to make it on for a stream on that day. Uh, what day is it next week? Just so I know. I'm not saying so I know when to skip a, uh, a stream, but... <laughs> Just so that way I know in advance, and if I forget, then it is my own fault. Which, there's a lot going on with work and everything else, but I will try my best to remember it. We need to get around these guys here. I'm tired of speeding up and slowing down. It's killing all of our momentum. Uh, on the 17th, so Friday is the 13th. 14, 15, 16, so Tuesday. Tuesday the 17th. Let's see if we can pass some of these guys down this hill coming up. Try to get a little bit of momentum here. I uh, don't know if we'll be able to. No, it's double yellow still. I don't know why. Come on, give me the dotted line. It's like they slow down when they know I can't pass. And then speed up as soon as I can pass. All this speeding up and slowing down is killing our fuel. Oh, we gotta turn up here anyways. Uh, they were okay for back in the day, but... I don't know. It's just... It'd be kind of neat if they can remake those. Like all the Freddy Krueger and Friday the 13th videos. It'd be kind of neat if they remade them. Uh, I used to smoke actual cigarettes. Um, and when I was on my last deployment, right before I got on the plane to come back to the States on January 16th, 2015, 
uh, I smoked my last cigarette right before I got on the plane, and I told myself that was going to be my last cigarette. And when I got back to the States, I got my first... Uh, vape mod whatever you want to call it and they asked me what I smoked and I told them and they told me okay well you're gonna probably be at 12 milligram nicotine I was like all right and ever since I've been weaning myself down the level of nicotine and it's been a slow process but why is this guy riding his brakes but I am now down to three milligram nicotine and eventually I will be going down to 1.5 and then after that I will go down to zero and then I'll be completely done. So it's just that that was a long version of answering your question as to it's me weaning myself off of nicotine and getting away from actually smoking at all period. Okay this guy is riding his brakes we need to get around him um, I have been to Afghanistan for a total of 24 months Iraq for a month uh, South Korea for 24 months uh, I have visited Japan Germany Ireland the Philippines where else was there? Uh, Qatar or Qatar, however you want to pronounce it. And that's just being in the military. And then I've taken trips, like personal vacations, down to the Caribbean, Jamaica. I haven't been out west. I mean, I was stationed in Arizona, but I haven't, I never really went to California or seen the west coast. Or I've been to Canada. Um, yeah. That's uh, pretty much every place I've been outside the states. Today is my birthday. Well, happy birthday, MG. Alright, assassin. Uh, another slow truck. We're gonna get around him because our momentum. Oh, you you live in the Caribbean? been there I was down in well I was on a cruise uh, I took a carnival cruise ship uh, we stopped in the Cayman Islands uh, Belize uh, we stopped in Cozumel Mexico I could have swore there was one other place as well but I can't remember what's up macaroni So excited for summer. Summer's over. I'm going on a cruise with my family for my grand graduation. I almost said grandson gift. Wow. Graduation gift. Well, that'd be awesome. I want to go on another cruise. They're fun. You'll like it. My favorite part. That's a random question, but... My favorite Pop-Tarts are the brown sugar cinnamon. Uh, you have to what, assassin? Oh, okay, I uh, guess I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by.
I don't see in this stream. Hopefully within the next couple streams. Get over. Holy crap, it's Dragon King. Where in the world have you been hiding? About time you step out of your cave. Or, sorry, about time you stop dwelling in your cave. There we go. Uh, just yesterday I tried to add a new map to my, and my computer froze because... Yep, I told you, third-party websites, Macaroni. That's why I do not use them. Steam Workshop and Steam Workshop only. I tried a third-party website once before and the same thing happened. I got a computer virus. But I learned my lesson. I will never again use a third-party website. Even though all these other YouTubers might be using that website, I'm not going to do it. No, I do not, Ron. Like I was just saying, if it's not on the Steam Workshop, I don't have it. Uh, you mean the one you're doing your head dance? That was like forever ago, man. I forget. I think that was for me hitting 400 subscribers, I think. I can't remember. About a minute ago. Oh, it was for 300. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while ago then. That was back in, what, August? So how can I get new maps? Um, if it's not on... Steam Workshop, then... Like, I haven't downloaded any new maps. I've just been getting, uh, like, accessory packs and trucks and sound packs, stuff like that. Just something to... Things to help give the game a little bit more realistic vibe. Been gone a long time, too long dealing with too much. Yeah, I know that feeling. What's up, A? How you doing today? Eh. <laughs> I kind of rhymed. <laughs> What's up with all the slow traffic? Speed up! Yeah, I don't know. I have to actually... I never actually looked at the maps on Steam Workshop if there were any or not. I'm not sure. The only thing I really know of that's altered the map any whatsoever is the no boundaries. I don't know, I'll have to check tonight and see. Uh, what time is it for me? Um, I know I started just a little after 8 and I've been streaming for about 38 minutes, so... I say it's about 8.38, 8.40-something. 8.42. That was close. 8.42 in the evening. Alright. Who's the culprit of slowing down the traffic? It's just... Well, there's this guy, a car, and then a truck. Alright. half tank of fuel, so we've used up about a half tank of fuel already. Trying to get to Winnemucca by nightfall. Um, there are uh, trailer packs, like uh, there's also 
uh, real co company logos, there's real gas stations, real gas prices. Um, but to get Walmart, you got to get the real company logos or something like that. I've had that one in the game forever now. Um, if you want, like I, I'm pretty sure you've already seen it, Macaroni, but um, if you look at my stream maybe about a week or two ago, it's titled Mod Showcase. You'll see all the mods. Are you serious? Why? You'll see all the uh, mods that I use. I have added a couple more since then, but nothing major. Man, I almost came to a complete stop right before I hit him. It's that car that was turning into that gas station. Or fuel station, whatever you want to call it. And speed limit change to 40. And to 30. Welcome to Eli. Uh, I think I'm becoming addicted to trucks. I just helpless when I see any kind. Even semis, I want one so bad. Yeah, I mean, some people are truck people and some people are car people. Some people are SUV people. I want to use one of the maps, but I have... What? I want to use one of the maps, but I have two maps. Okay, so two as in the number two. Uh, but I cannot use the truck map because the big map doesn't get off the screen. I don't know. Tomorrow I start with my American Revolution unit. Never heard of that. Hey, used cars. There you go. Dragon King, there's a truck for you for sale right up front there. No, I have not, Dragon King. You notice that everybody gets sick during the fall. Yep, it's flu season. Uh, no, I am not. Luckily, I am not. Uh, my supervisor is right now, so hopefully he doesn't pass it on to me. I don't really have a dream car. Um, I mean, I like cars and everything, but I am a truck person myself, and my dream truck would be a nice decked out diesel, if not a decked out Toyota Tundra, which I know Toyota Tundras do have diesel, but very rarely do you see a diesel Toyota Tundra. I think they have to be special ordered. I'm not sure. The sick around the end of spring, the end of summer. Uh, a lot of people mistake getting sick with um, allergies. Because allergies will give you that stuffed up nose and sinus drainage and sneezing and some coughing at times. What are you doing, Van? Sheesh. So yeah, a lot of people think that uh, they're sick, but it's actually allergies. And they take the wrong medication, they wonder why the medication ain't working. So yeah. I found that out the hard way because I never had allergies until after my last deployment and then I came down with allergies and I'm like, um, why am I sick? Why, is, why isn't this medicine working? So, Alright. 
think this road here is... I think this is pushing up towards Wanamuka here. Not sure, though. Now, without looking at the big map. Mmm. Cold coffee. Uh-oh, we're getting tired. That's not good. Uh, I wonder how much further we have left. Let's get up to speed and set the cruise, and we'll take a look at it. Now, the map is a Mac American Trucker. How to take the big map off and use it. I I don't know. I have I've never used any map mods before, so I don't know. All right, so we still have 247 miles with six hours and 24 minutes to go. So we probably will need to find a rest area. But we are still way ahead of schedule. We are not expected to be there. We're not expected to be there until Saturday. Well, actually, no, we'll be right on, right about, you know, right on time. If we stop and get some rest, we'll be there shortly before the 12.22 p.m., I have a feeling. Uh, why do you say that, Drama City? on these uh, roads here today. Kind of nice being able to do that. Usually we're stuck on this windy road and we can't pass. saying that we are starting to get a little tired so we definitely need to start looking for a rest area. Kind of hoping to make it in one day but we probably could have if we didn't alter the route but that's all right. We're still going to be on time. glad that there's nobody really coming from the other direction. A lot of dead trucks alongside the road. It's like the second or third one I've seen on this road alone. Alright. We are out in the middle of nowhere. No rest stops. Uh, if you had to choose, would you rather have Hitler or Osama bin Laden as your president? Uh, I would do what I've been doing my whole life and not vote. <laughs> with the game buttons you can push F5 or F6 I have no idea I'd have to see what you're looking at in order to understand completely alright there's a rest stop right up here we're gonna stop and get some rest 
and then finish the trip out in the morning. Barely missed that light post. And we're starting to doze off, so perfect timing. Hop on out here. Listen to that silence. Alright. Resting, resting, resting. And driver Caitlin has earned us some money. You don't really see stuff from Jock too much. Or Jock. There we go. Ah, cause he's taking longer trips, that's why. He's taking longer trips and earning earning a little bit more money that way. Alright. We're gonna have to take a look at our uh, drivers here again after... Oops, wrong button. We're gonna take a look at our drivers here after we're done, so that way... I know Caitlyn is on balance now, so we don't have to worry about her so much, but Jacques, if he leveled up, we gotta set him back to balanced. So that way he can start leveling up the rest of his tributes. Oh, sign. Barely missed it. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That's an old trick right there, JB. Oh, that was kind of harsh. Uh, I don't think so, Drama City. I've never seen one like that. Uh, I will show you that, Macaroni. I'll show you how to hire drivers and stuff like that if you don't know how to. Alright, Dragon King. Catch you later. Thanks for stopping out. Don't be a stranger. What's up, Kyle? How you doing today? Yeah, you're lucky you got by with uh, Nightbot. That's the map, right? You just opened up how to get rid of the. Oh! This? On the screen right now, the bottom right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, Nightbot's in the chat somewhere. Nightbot will be popping in and out every once in a while. go. Are you talking about the map that's down in the bottom right right now, Macaroni? Uh, if you want to know where it's at, Kyle, go ahead and test your luck. Get thrown in jail for five seconds. Nightbot's there, but he didn't get you for some reason or another. That's kind of weird. You got lucky. Ah. Alright, Mr. Van. You got to get past. Slow 
vehicles. We're gonna test our luck. We're testing it. Hope nothing comes up over the hill. Don't do it. Okay, we're good. All right, JB got it. And Kyle got it. They brought out Nightbot. They have woken the beast. Why do we always catch people on a hill and a curve combined? Well, yeah, Drama City, because you know better. <laughs> Alright, we got this guy right here. Slingshot engaged. talking about JB oh there's macaroni uh, macaroni uh, if you hit F5 like this it brings up the map if you hit F3 It'll sort of get rid of the little box around it and hit F3 again. It'll get rid of it. And then if you want to bring it back up again, you can either hit F5 or F3. Hit F3 again, it brings it back up, and you can just keep cycling through like that. But if you want to bring up a certain thing right away, like say I was just on the map with F5, if I want to see the job statistics, I can hit F6. It'll bring up the job statistics. But if I hit F3, it'll get rid of the box around it. And if I hit F3 again, it'll get rid of it completely. Then I can hit F3 once more, and it brings it back up again. So, yep. Hopefully, if you keep F hitting F5, it'll just cycle through the uh, zooming in and out of the map. Hey, you get by, Kyle. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea, JB. Uh, you might just be getting a. You might just have a lucky night, Kyle. Nightbot just might be having an off day and just doesn't really care right now. <laughs> Alright, that's enough, guys. Oh, JB just got the 600 seconds. Oh, you stupid Prius! No, don't do it, Kyle. I got it on there for a reason. It's not for you guys to just test them all the time. It's to help prevent people from doing that. It's not to have people to purposely do it. Okay. What's this guy doing? He has no turn signal on. Is he going straight? Is he going left? Is he going right? What's he doing? He's turning left. No turn signal. But now he's got a turn signal on. Almost there. And are we on time? We are ahead of schedule. 
It is going on 8.33, 8.34 a.m. on Saturday, 8.35 on Saturday. And so we are a good four hours, a well, little under four hours ahead of schedule. So, we have made it. No speeding violations, but we did end up rear-ending that one truck because we were had them brake check right in front of us. Um, I'm going to turn around over here so that way I can get this truck and trailer facing the right direction. What's up, Rishi? Man, oh man, this... I'm thinking about getting this shorter wheelbase truck again. Because this longer wheelbase truck does not have a good turning radius at all. It's a uh, black MG. It's black carbon fiber with a blue interior light. Alright, Kyle, that's enough. Well, Kyle got it for 600 seconds. Man, this is going to be a hard turn in. I don't know if we'll be able to get this turned in there or not. The trailer's going to keep turning now. That is not straight enough for my liking at all whatsoever. Why is it not taking that? Oh, there it is. All right. And turn the truck off and download the trailer. What does the blue interior look light look like? Uh, it looks. It just illuminates the cab blue. You don't actually see the light. You should do a 24-hour stream when you hit 500 subs. You know, I was actually thinking about doing that. I don't know about a 24-hour one, though. But maybe like a 12-hour stream or something. Alright, so we're still level 24. I know I just sort of skipped that whole page right there. But we are now up to $59,274. If you guys you guys seen last night's stream, we paid off every single loan. So we are debt-free. Which is nice. Uh... Garage manager, let's take a look at our drivers. So Caitlin is now on balance, so she will now start getting all these tributes uh, leveled up because she's already got the has or hazmat stuff done. Jacques is still needing one more right here, and then we can get him back on a balanced. But um, for those of you who do not know how to hire drivers. Uh, first off, you need 
to have an upgraded garage. All right, so right now we have a small garage that is allowed to have three drivers. That is including us. Um, we need we need a hundred thousand dollars to upgrade again, so we can unlock these two slots right here, so that way we can hire more drivers. But if you have an open slot, all you need to do is go down to recruitment agency. And it'll open up. See, there's one recruitment agency right there we have not discovered yet. So when we're in Santa Cruz, we need to do some cruising around. Get it, Santa Cruz, cruising around. Um, <laughs> uh, we need to find this recruitment agency, and we'll have all the recruitment agencies discovered for our disposal. But uh, to hire a driver, when you're in your recruitment agency, you just come down here to hire a driver. Click on that. And it'll come up. I don't have any slots available, of course. So, but this will pop up here, this box. And it will show you their name, their driver rating, uh, asking wage, so on and so forth, and then all their attributes that they already have. And you can write right there, there's four pages, as you can see here, there's four pages of drivers. And you can go through and you can hire whatever driver you want. Um, but, oh, here we go. But um, the thing, look at this dude. Um, the thing is, is that in order for the driver to actually work, you need to have, go in your garage manager, you need to have in these slots, this open slot right here, you must have a truck there ready and available for them to be able to start driving. Because if there's no truck, and there's just a driver, of course, it's not going to, the driver's just going to sit there. That's why I just, I just told you, Rishi. You go up here to upgrade. You click on upgrade right here, but we can't do it because we need $100,000 to upgrade. But we've already upgraded once. You start off with the basic garage. Um, we've already updated because the basic garage just has one slot available for you, and that's just you. Um, if you upgrade, it's $75,000 to upgrade, I think. I forget. I think it's $75,000 to upgrade the first time. Um, that'll unlock these two slots. To upgrade to a large garage, it's $100,000, as you can see here. And it'll unlock these two. And I'm thinking it might unlock these two. I forget what these two are. I think one's a fuel station, like a, your own personal fuel station at your garage. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this one is. But we'll find out eventually, I guess. But um, but yeah, so that's how you hire a driver. Um, as you can see, uh, what we'll do is when we upgrade the garage and these two slots are available, we'll save up money for a brand new truck. And when we get a brand new truck, the truck we're driving now will pass down to the next driver. I just... Told you, Macaroni. I just told you. <laughs> you go down to recruitment agency. And then you go to hire a driver. And you can pick whoever you want to drive for your company. And you come down here and hit hire a driver. But like I just said, you need to make sure that in your garage manager... You need to make sure you have an open slot available, so that way you can hire a driver. But when you hire a driver, make sure you have a truck for that driver to be able to drive. So, yeah. So we still have, as you can see here, we have $59,274. So we still need roughly, what, $40,000, a little over $40,000 to upgrade our garage. So hopefully within the next two trips, I'm hoping, uh, we will have a upgraded garage. <laughs> Muted for 10 minutes. There you go. Oh, I thought it was five minutes. Okay, it's 10 minutes. No, you do not have to be online, Macaroni. So uh, let's see. Skills, as you can see here, here's our skills. Um, progress history. 
You can see this is where we were. We finished that delivery with bacon. And then this is where we drove. Gathering up those three cities in Northern California. So, anyhow, let's take a look at the job market. I'm not going to take anything right now. Actually, take a look at Winnemucca here real quick. Because I need to hit up a... Of course, we're hitting up all the cities that have no mechanic shops or maintenance shops. We need to do some maintenance on our truck. There's nothing available here. Uh, no, I will not, JB, because that's from a third-party website, and I don't use those. All right, so, let's see, Winnemucca to Nogales. That's going all the way back down yonder. All right, uh, is there anything going up to Jackpot? That's what I want to know. Right here. Looky there. You know what? We got enough time. We're going to take this trip here real quick. Just so we can unlock the very last city in the game right now. Alright, catch you later, Rishi. Thanks for stopping by. Let's head on over here to pick up this job. Hopefully we can get there because it's 26 minutes before the trip expire or the job expires. We need to hurry up and get there. I'm gonna drive like a madman to get there. So we need to hurry up and get it. It's only 26 minutes before the job expires, so. I know I said I only take one trip per live stream, but we finally got a trip up to jackpot and that's the last city we need to uh, discover yet so let's make some money heading up there to jackpot come on truck go Yeah, recruitment agencies are, you just just seen the map where all the recruitment agencies are at, so. All you gotta do is, if you're in one of the cities, just look for the question marks. Where there's a question mark, it's either a dealership or a recruitment agency. What's up, Kenworth for life, how you doing today? Come on, take it, there we go. Hopefully we're not too late. Hey, it's still there. All right. A short little trip. Or if we can make this turn. Oh, barely made it. I'm doing pretty good. Just finished up a trip from uh, Holbrook up here to Winnemucca. And um, decided to take one more short trip for the evening because it's heading up to Jackpot. And yeah, we're not going to make that. It's heading up to Jackpot, and that's the very last city we need on, uh, to actually discover in the game right now until New Mexico comes out. We're gonna scrape this wall, aren't we? I need to make a sharper turn, but oh, we might make it. All right. Go ahead and hook this trailer up. So we are, ooh, it's 13,500 pounds of fireworks. So it's heading from Winnemucca to Jackpot, and it's going to be paying us a whopping total of, ooh, look at the fence, paying us a whopping total of $5,876. Are we going to make this turn?
How do they expect us to make this turn? There's Gotta go to the dealership. Oh, buddy, we just barely made it. How did we manage to scrape by that without hitting that? Hey, welcome back, Kyle. Man, are we going to make this turn? Nope, we're not going to make that one. That truck better not be turning in here. I going to say, that'd be the first time I've ever seen a truck pull into a little depot area like this in single player. Alright, we got to turn left out of here. Yeah, you can see yourself in third person, but you can't see yourself in first person, which is kind of weird. I like both Peterbilt and the Kenworth. They both have their pros and cons. see here how many miles we have we got 201 miles to go on this trip so that should be pretty quick just realized our fuel level is getting kind of low but we should be all right is pretty much what I said in last night's stream when I ran out of fuel <laughs> don't do it Ugh. Why can't you go anywhere, Kenworth? Uh, I'm not driving a Kenworth. Oh, you're talking to Kenworth. Okay. So you're going to be talking trash about Kenworth, Kyle, when I'm driving a Kenworth? Just asking. Because once we get our next garage, that's what we're going to be driving, is Kenworth 900. You got the Kenworth 900, that's a little bit of an old school truck. W900 has a nice jig brake. This one is just on there because I have a mod for it. Yeah, I mean, the Peterbilt does have a jig brake, but it doesn't sound the greatest. Truckies boxing us in. I didn't know if we're gonna hit that van back there or not. It was set up tour video. There's not really much of a setup. I mean, I got my steering wheel, pedals, and my gaming monitors. That's pretty much it. 
moving my microphone here. Yeah, the modified Peterbilts do look pretty good. But you have to make it modified in order to make it look good. That's the bad thing. W900, it's already looking good. There's a fuel station and I don't know if there's a maintenance shop in uh, Jackpot or not. It's been forever since we've done any type of maintenance to our truck. truck just screaming away here though past this red robin van and this red prius whoa stay away from the wall They both look about the same, Kyle. They both have the same, especially with the day cab. The Peterbilt 389 and the Kenworth 900, W900, they both look pretty much the same, except for the Peterbilt has some lights in the back that obviously don't work, but they have, they have some differences to it but the look of it just by glancing at it they look pretty much the same oh and the speed limit is 65 so they, like I said the Peterbilt is a nice looking truck the W900, the Kenwood W900, that's a good looking truck. But to make the Peterbilt look different, like how I have it, you have to take a lot of mods. nothing wrong with that Kenworth I mean everybody has their pr uh, preference me like I said there's pros and cons of both trucks I like certain things that the Kenworth has that the Peterbilt doesn't I like things that the Peterbilt has that the Kenworth doesn't so it it's all on you I mean uh, I don't have anything against uh, either one uh, we gotta go into the vehicle way station okay or inspection Uh, that's one thing I haven't tried yet, but we will get to that, is the Freightliner. We slow down to 15 before cops sees us. Jeez. I, I don't like how it just changes just like that, but okay. Vehicle gross weight, 51,537 pounds. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at it, Kyle, eventually. I think what we'll do is we'll go through, like I said, this garage will be all Peterbilt 389s. The next garage will be Kenworth W900. And then the, we'll go to the next garage after that will be the Freightliner. And then we'll go with the more modern new newer dated trucks like the round bodies and stuff like that 
Swearing? No swearing. No profanity means no swearing. I like to try to keep this uh, as family friendly as possible. Jackpot Eli, exit one mile. It's just a different way of saying it, being more professional about it. Do you have to turn on your truck lights to see the blue light? Yes, you do. Because if you see, I'll turn off my lights. See how it turns off? Now I'll turn on my running lights and my gauge lights will come on, but not the blue light. If I turn my headlights on, then the blue light will pop on in the cab. But you can't really see the blue light anywhere. Like actual, like actually see the light. You can just see the illumination from it. Gosh, dang it. I'm sorry, dude. Go. No. He wasn't there a second ago. Okay, I can't make the turn with you there, do I? See that Kenworth right there, the 900? That looks just like our Peterbilt does. Like the nose of it. Man. Let us out. Once again, can't go with you there. Alright, we're gonna go. Oh, of course, now the coast is clear. Alright, settle west. All new scenery around here. Hey, a truck wash. Can we actually go and wash our truck back there? That's a rust area, isn't it? It sure looks like it. Yeah, well, like I said, I mean, the Kenworth is, I mean, this Peterbilt looks almost like the Kenworth. You just glance at them, except for mine looks a little bit different because of the mods I have on it. Especially these. Alright, let me watch where I'm going here. Yeah, I'm starting to wear down too, JB. We're almost done here, though. Just gotta get up the jackpot and drop off our trailer. Yeah, once I get the uh, the 900, it'll have mods on it as well. It's not going to look like a typical Kenworth 900 that you see just in the game. Like, anywhere else. different scenery up in here is I mean it's still desert but it's kind of neat something different to look at and here comes jackpot we can see it on the GPS up oh, running out of fuel let's hope like I said let's hope jackpot has a fuel station I like going to sleep when I'm extremely tired and it just feels good to just lay down. Uh, waking up, I like waking up on my own and not the alarm. So pretty much on the weekends I enjoy waking up because I can wake up whenever I feel like it. Whenever my body feels like, okay, you got plenty of rest, you can get up now. But weekdays, not so much. I don't like going to sleep because it just... 
I work so many hours throughout the day, it's like I don't feel like I have enough time to myself in the evening, so I try to stay up later to get things done or just do what I want to do. And then, of course, I regret it. Jackpot discovered. Of course, I regret it the next morning when my alarm goes off because I didn't get the proper sleep. So... Hey, there's a fuel station right there. We can stop at it before we leave town. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have it a weekend every day, but at the same time, I need money to pay bills, so that's not possible to have the weekend every day. Try drive for the W9 broken. Huh? I have no idea what you're trying to say there, Kenworth. Uh, no, I did not, Assassin. I haven't played the NASCAR T2 since Friday. I had two videos out last week for NASCAR Heat 2, and that was Wednesday for the hot seat, uh, hot seat race, and then Friday for full race Fridays. Yeah, you gotta watch out using some mods, because a lot of times they interact differently with each other and they can break stuff. somehow. We're basically going to have to turn this thing around. This trailer right here wasn't in our way. We'd be able to just go straight for that corner. At least your mom knew about it, and it was basically her fault, not yours. Alright, so we got that turned around. Look like a Christmas tree. Well, like I said, I got lights too. They're all flashy. I love these small parking lot warehouses. Alright. Finally got that. Alright, 
There we go. Man, we got jackpot discovered. So we have all cities discovered in the game now. Until New Mexico comes out. Yeah, I would like to have the police siren or uh, police lights, but it just, I don't know if the, I could try that for like the front, have the red and blue on one, you know, going back and forth, but I don't know how it would actually look. So, all right, so we are now a little over halfway into level 24. And, uh, so as of right now, our past seven day profit's been $167 and 43, or $167,043. So there we go. And we have a total of $65,618 in the bank now. So another $35,000 we can upgrade our garage. And our damage is now up to 9%. So hopefully, like I said, there's a mechanic shop here somewhere. And of course not. There's a place for us to rest and get fuel, but once again, no mechanic shop. So we're going to have to run with 9% damage. So, anyhow, uh, that is going to end tonight's stream. We took our trip from Holbrook, Arizona, up to Winnemucca, Nevada. That was, what, 800-something-odd miles. And then we finally got a job going up to Jackpot to discover Jackpot. And we have now discovered all cities in the game. Like I said, uh, I wanted to check this out. So we were at 74% uh, percent explored here uh, before we took this job from Holbrook to Winnemucca. Because instead of taking Holbrook straight across, or, or uh, taking this straight across and up like it wanted us to to Winnemucca... We came up here to Las Vegas and came up this way. And then these roads here were all discovered. But we took a left here, went up, and then cut over this way, and then back over. So we explored this road here, over to here, and up to here. So we just sort of zigzagged and explored that area. So we've explored some more cities, or uh, explored more roads, and... Finally got the map discovered for all the cities. But we still have a lot of gray here, as you guys can see. Um, but that will come in time. So anyhow, guys, that is going to end today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, please, please, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And share with all your friends and family and enemies, whoever you want to share with. Feel free to do it. So until next time, guys. I hope you have a good evening, and I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming streams, if not the next one. And until then, see you on the road. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.